Okay, so I thought I would show you guys. I just got a ton more makeup and stuff. Um, just some like refills for my kit. So let's take a little look at what I got. Also, I we're not doing makeup today. So this is this is this is what we're doing. So I placed an order um, with Fenty Beauty because they were having a sale. I got the Royal Icing Highlighter. I have the white one already, but I wanted to get this one for um, deeper complexions. And then I got a restock of my favorite glosses. I got, they're just the gloss bombs. I got Fenty Glow, which is the normal one. Um, Sweet Mouth, this light pink. Love this, love this love this i use this on so many people and this is actually really cute for like little flower girls and stuff too if they want like a little sparkle um fussy which is the mauvey pink and then i got hot chocolate for my deeper gals then i got hmm, um i got three refills of my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder and these are the new pans that you can actually pop out which is super convenient because i depot everything and put them in my uh, meal palettes but i was really disappointed because look at how it comes packaged i'm gonna have to disinfect this after because i'm touching it but literally no plastic no nothing it just comes in this little cardboard thing that's in the box like for what you pay for these, like I know that this is cheaper because you don't get the packaging, but like, how did these not break? That's like, whatever. So um, I got Deep, which is a new shade for me, and then I stocked up on Medium and Fair. Those are my two most used colors, and then I still have the Medium shade upstairs um, in my studio. I got a lip mask. Then I pay, placed a huge order from House of Lashes. This is my favorite glue. I got eight of each of these. I got a clear adhesive and then a black adhesive. So much. I got a My Kit Co. Another one of these sharpeners because for some reason I lose them 24 hours a day. We got some Bioderma airbrush cleaner. I am so sick of doing airbrush makeup. I just have to put that out there. Um, I got a Cinema Secrets spot cleaner as well as a um, brush cleanser. This alone does not sanitize your brushes. This is for like spot cleaning or changing colors. You need to be using actual soap on your brushes as well. So that's why I just get a little one of these because I'm not actually cleaning my brushes with that. Um, it's just for like emergencies. I got a dose of colors lippy. Um, this is in the shade mood nude. And this is a mix of, I don't even think I said this, like a bunch of different, it's like a little bit of Sephora, a little bit of Ulta, camera ready cosmetics, just a plethora of different things. I've just been kind of keeping it in one box. I got some more NYX brow pencils. Um, I got taupe and ash brown. Those are actually my two most used colors as well. I like a cooler brow tone. I got two buxom. These came from Sephora actually. I got hush hush henna and then smooth spice. I use these both personally and love them. So I wanted to add these plumping power line lip liners to my collection. And then I got just some more like coal pencils, um, a brown, a gray, a black a bronze and a champagne -y color. I go through those all really, really quick. And then I got a NYX lip liner. This is in the shade Peekaboo Peek Neutral and it's supposed to be a dupe for Pillow Talk, which is great because I go through Pillow Talk so freaking fast. Then I got this ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer. These are new. I saw this in store for in Ulta and I really struggled to find fair bronzers that I like because they just look so orange. like. Nothing is like a nice neutral tone. So I thought this might be a good bronzer for my super, super fair gals like me right now. Um, so we're going to give that guy a go. And then I got, I got two, four, six shades of the Lancome tent or whatever concealer that everybody raves about. I really, really like this concealer. I bought one to try out on myself first. Um, normally I was carrying the Laura Mercier, um, the NARS Radiant Creamy and, um, 
what was the other one? Oh, I was carrying the Dior one, which I really, really enjoyed, but the Dior packaging just kept leaking those big, chunky ones. And it's a new year. I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. All right, okay, now we're doing right. Hourglass Stick Foundations. It's important work, but no one knows who we No, she can't come over here. Which is exactly Everything's sanitized. Who could you possibly Look how pretty it is. It's so aesthetic. Wait, this is wild. I went from these two thick ones to this skinny. Your aunt and uncle were patriots, Rose. They knew the risks of associating with the society. Okay, so this morning I am in my kitchen because today's project, let me get all of this stuff out of the way, um, is brush cleaning day. This is probably one of my least favorite things to do, but as you all know, it's a huge part of the job. So before I start cleaning, what I wanna do is basically just like go through and organize because I have brushes like just everywhere and this is just not working for me. Like I can't even tell what I have what well i don't need anything i'm not buying anything else um but i can't even tell like what brushes i have and i just want to sort them so they're nice and organized and i can make my little bundles and stick to those bundles so that way when i am cleaning i'm not running around looking like oh i need a highlight brush like where's a blending brush they're all together and i'll show you what i mean by that but first i'm gonna make piles like foundation powder cream contour highlight eyeshadow blending brow, all that stuff. I'm going to make little piles and then I'm going to clean them. But first we got to sort. I've got all my piles of brushes organized. I have um, 10 sets, I think, 10 full sets. So here's everything laid out and then in cups and stuff here. Obviously you have to clean everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I have my label maker here and then I bought these off of Amazon. They're just like these clear pencil bags and I think there's like 20 in there but I like them because they're like a plasticky material so I can easily like sanitize and wipe them down. Um, so they come in a bunch of different colors and what I'm going to do is basically like put one brush set in each one of these but I'm going to label them because I do like to carry um, some like extra detail brushes so I want to pull those aside and then I'll label like nine sets for bridesmaids, one for the bride, that sort of thing. So I'm just pulling up to um, my wedding venue. I'm in like a residential neighborhood today. So I'm super excited. I'm, a, uh, 
I'm a little bit nervous for wedding of 2023, but I'm really excited. I'm actually working with a company today. Actually, for all of my weddings going forward, I signed with a company. I'm really excited. So I'm working with them out of Nashville um, for bridal exclusively. So today is kind of my shadow day. I am gonna be doing a service. Um, so I did pack my kit and all my stuff because I am gonna be actually working today, but the intent is kind of just to see how they do stuff around here. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous because their processes are a lot different than what I'm used to, but I think it's gonna be great. All that to say, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get, but I will do my best to vlog. Um, but yeah, I really wanna emphasize that I am working with this company strictly for bridal. Um, everything else I'm still doing on my own like through me personally so i will be changing that on like my website and all my socials and stuff that like anything wedding service goes through this company they're like my booking agent um which i'm really excited because they're a phenomenal company they're incredibly talented like it's just a dream come true so i'm really really excited about that um to be on their freelance team so yeah let's get going let's get her done 